My hair sometimes looks different colors video to video because it all depends on if I leave the main light of the room on because it's orangey and it makes my hair not look green anymore. But this, this is more accurate to my hair color. Hello. <laughs> Hey Spuds, it's Jamie, welcome back to another video if that's going on channel, I don't know, but welcome either way. I'm very glad to have you here today because today we are looking at more conspiracy theories where some people just think that lots of people are trans, particularly celebrities. There's this whole thing that's like rich, famous people, the price for their fame and their fortune was to be transgender because yes, how fascinating. They like to nitpick different celebrities and be like, oh, because this celebrity has this this particular feature, they must actually be a man. Despite the celebrity being a woman. It would be a fascinating concept if that many people were trans and if that many rich famous people were trans. Like, okay, cool, just all of the most famous people in the world are actually transgender. That would be quite a cool revelation. Not true, but just a very fascinating obsession that some people seem to have and it is called transvestigation. If you've ever heard a more horrible word, no, you haven't. You probably have. But it's pretty high up there on bizarre words. So we're gonna have a look at some of those today and, and be like, what the actual hell? You ready? Okay, so what are we looking at? Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, I'm assuming it's some kind of Barbie event. And then the meme person puts on the glasses and oh look, they have switched. Have they put a little bit of really badly imposed chest hair on Margot Robbie? That's so fascinating. Not gonna lie, man Margot Robbie, kinda hot. Woman Ryan Gosling, personally, to me, looks like a cross between Amy Schumer and Cher. I'm Cher, bitch! <laughs> and then the comment is, of course the... I don't know why they've starred that out, and I don't know if it's because it's bad to say, so I'm just not gonna say it. These two are very obvious. Wake up, humans. So they actually think that Ryan Gosling is a trans man and Margot Robbie is a trans woman. Okay, right. Obviously it's transphobic and it's also transphobic on the level of even if they were trans they wouldn't respect the gender so like even if they the belief being like Margot Robbie is a trans woman they're actually saying ah no but but actually man. To be honest this isn't the first time this is my first transvestigation video it's not the first time Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling has come up have come up and I'm like it's really bizarre to me there's no reason given. They've literally put the two of them through the gender swap face app thing and gone, haha, it's so obvious. The soft look of aging women, large foreheads, tiny sloping shoulders, left to right, Adam Sandler, David Spade, and Jim Carrey. They think Adam Sandler, and I know I've heard of David Spade, I've seen him in movies, but I wouldn't have known his name. But they think these three guys are actually women. The soft look of aging women. Sure, Jan. It's really intriguing to me, especially like taking people as a group and especially taking people where there's a belief that it's this kind of like, oh, we can always tell when people are trans. Probably therefore the belief that trans people could never truly like quote unquote pass as their gender and there'll always be some kind of tell and some kind of obvious sign. But then they pick people who really fit into very strong like masculine feminine stereotypes. Ryan Gosling being very muscular and very tall. It's not to say that trans men cannot be those things. It's just if they are trying to go on the we can always tell thing, picking people like Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie, and then here, like, there's a whole range of appearances and masculinity and heights and like broadness in these three men. Is that like, what are you trying to get at here? Like, large foreheads and tiny sloping shoulders. And they're saying that about all of them. How is large foreheads like a, indicative of like being a woman? Because I thought that would be more like receding hairline which is more typically found in men and people with high testosterone. I mean they don't all have like particularly large foreheads they're just all swept back with their hair which would give the appearance of a larger forehead then I don't think any of them are particularly narrow shouldered but like Jim Carrey in particular looks very broad and a lot taller than the other two. What are they trying to get at? Like what is it that they're nitpicking on because the two things they've mentioned don't even count for all people in the photos if any people in the photos and it where's large foreheads come from in the first place? Is this a woman? Elton John. <laughs> to give a 
marginal amount of credit. No credit. I'm not giving any credit. Oh my god. It's just, at least they've picked somebody here who expresses more femininely. And it's like, okay, I could see somebody who's just really lost down some conspiracy rabbit hole that celebrities are trans and they're trying to find all the little things about them that prove that they're trans. Picking someone like Elton John, who is quite feminine in, in his presentation, makes more sense because they're, they like to put those very heavy stereotypes of gender expression and think that that somehow impacts people's gender identity when it the two things aren't connected at all. You can express in any way regardless of your gender. It's really confusing when they pick people who are like hyper-masculine and they're like, ah, yes, clearly this person is a woman because of this reason. And it's like, the, what? None of it makes sense. And that particularly doesn't make sense. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm hating all of it. And I think all of it is bad, but I'm like, at least, at least find something that makes sense to cling on to. It doesn't make sense, but that would even make sense for your own argument because, do you know, I'm having a difficult time and I'm waffling because I don't even know why I'm trying to justify any of this. I'm not trying to justify any of this. I don't know why I'm trying to explain this because none of it makes sense, regardless of the gender expression or the physical appearance of the people that they're picking on. It just doesn't make sense. That's why I'm getting all, like, tongue-tied. I thought Taylor Swift was hugging a man with a wig, but that's Carol G. I have to say that she looks very manly. This isn't the first time as well that women of colour in particular are picked on and called manly. I feel like it happens a disproportionate amount to women of colour than to white women that they are singled out and called manly for various different things. It's not okay. There's nothing wrong with being masculine. There's nothing wrong with being feminine. There's nothing wrong with being manly or womanly, I think that's a word. So I don't think Taylor Swift is a man. I don't know who Carol G is personally, but I don't know if they think that she, I don't know if they're trying to say she's a man or if she's just manly. Imagine sitting at home and being like, ah, yes, I'm gonna go on the internet. I'm gonna look at photos of celebrities that don't give very much context about them as people at all or even physically what they fully look like because photographs are not completely accurate and you could look very different in one photo compared to another. I'm going to take those photos of these people that I don't know and I'm going to scrutinize them. I'm going to judge them and I'm, I'm going to call people out or I'm going to try and I don't know what the aim is. Okay there is a follow-up to this photo and post and for clarification just I had no idea who Carol G is. I've never seen her before or a photo of her before and someone's commented going this photo is clearly edited and a cursory Google search confirms it. I highly suggest actually researching things you see before posting. And then there's a side by side comparison. Somebody is still like doubling down and going two men hugging. And it's like, oh, well, they're both men, actually. What you think drag queens look like. Okay. Pretty sure that is a drag queen. What they actually look like. Is that Beyonce? Right, I feel like that kind of makes the point of the whole like women of color get picked on so much more often. Jesus. Not that it's inherently bad to look like a drag queen because drag queens don't look bad, but it's the concept that I think they're taking the idea of like a drag queen and a very certain appearance of makeup and of drag and trying to say that a cis woman looks like a drag queen because a cis woman looks like a man dressing as a woman, which doesn't sit right. The Shining Twins. No context, just the Shining Twins were on some transvestigation page. The literal twins, the children from the movie The Shining. Why? Are they identical? Like, they look like they're identical, but then they also look like they could just be siblings, like fraternal siblings. Frat is that what it's called? Or fraternal twins? Who are just very, very similar looking. Because they also look different, but then they do look very similar. But I don't understand why they're on a transvestigation page. I remember watching Inception and I said, gosh, Elliot Page, although they did not say Elliot, walks like a dude. Several years later, are they referring to Elliot Page using it as a pronoun? Comes out as he. This is a typical example of male to female to male, like as if it was planned for it to come out. Th see, this this was my question in previous videos like this, of like, is how do they justify this whole like, all celebrities are trans and that's how they've paid for their celebrity. Blah, 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 blah. With actual trans celebrities. And then they just make up that they've transitioned and then transitioned back. Sure. Yeah, of course that's what, really? Sorry men, but Megan Fox has a slightly visible Adam's apple. So apologies. Because 
I think that apparently means she's a man because women don't have Adam's apples. Everyone has a bit of something there. It's something to do with testosterone and what it does to the vocal cords makes it more obvious. I, I believe it's that kind of thing, like many trans men who take testosterone. See, mine was a bit visible. Mine was like kind of halfway between where it is now and being invisible. There was something there before I started tea. I had like a bit of a visible Adam's apple. I take testosterone and it becomes a lot more visible. I think it can depend on a lot of things, like genetics, various different bits and pieces. It's not just Adam's apple equals man. Melanie C, sporty guy. <laughs> of course they pick on sporty spice. Mm-hmm. Ah, a woman likes sport. But she is not a woman. Are this first ladies or first the first men? First the fat what? So they got Trump's Trump, Ivana, Ivanka, Iva, Ivana. Ivana. And then Michelle Obama. Now, Michelle Obama is someone who has been picked on a lot by transvestigators. Again, is an example of a woman of colour getting very much singled out and called masculine. This has also happened to the Williams sisters, Serena and Venus Williams, the tennis players. They have also been singled out on several occasions. And it's just, this is transphobia, misogyny, gender stereotypes, all mixed together with racism. Anya Taylor-Joy. What are they going after? Boy. Someone's just commented boy. Yes, boy rhymes with joy. Well done. The man sees his body. The man sees his body. What? I d the ma that doesn't make sense. That do th there's just no coherency in any of this. Sharon Osbourne and Lana Del Rey. What a straight male spine he has. Sharon needs a shave quick. So many questions. So, okay. First question. What's the difference between a straight male spine and a gay male spine and a bisexual male spine and a pansexual? Also, what is the difference between a male spine and a female spine? Tell me that. And how can you tell through skin, the spine? Ah, uh, she sits straight. That must mean she has straight male spine because only straight men sit straight. Sharon needs a shave. Where? And even if she did have hair somewhere, like facial hair, because from that photo, that's probably the only place there could be hair that someone was going, she needs a shave. One, doesn't mean she needs a shave. But two, for Sharon, there is no visible hair there to even state if a shave is needed or not, or if there is, there, there is nothing there. And even if there was something there that would A, not make her a man, and B, not mean that she needed to shave anything. Beyonce will never understand how the brainwashed masses can't see he's a bloke in drag. It's all I see, it's clear as can be. I think that people who are transvestigators have gone to some very special opticians. They're wearing certain glasses because they are not seeing the world and people, how they're actually appearing. But even if they were, it's not a kind thing and it's not someone else's place to make an assumption over gender or assigned birth sex or anything. It is headache inducing. I go into these videos and I'm like, right, let's laugh at the ridiculousness of some transphobes and some people who like to shove a lot of gender stereotypes and misogyny and racism at things and it's like actually no this is really just bizarre it's not entertaining it's weird behavior and i don't know why people do it justin bieber born a female fact this was a thing years ago wasn't there some conspiracy that justin bieber was a trans man and it was partly based on the fact of how young he looked for so long i think i'm like the exact same age as justin bieber give or take a month or something he did look young but it's just weird to then go <laughs> trans man. because he looks young some people just do look young there's um oh i can't remember his name it was the kid in love actually he's like in his 30s now i think still looks really young and looked really young for a really long time it just happens sometimes does not mean somebody is trans her movement her tone her personality you can't convince me she isn't a gay man miley cyrus they think miley cyrus is actually a gay man i just wonder where people get the time sheldon transvestigation <laughs> 25 celebrities who underwent gender transition 
Jim Parsons, right? That's his name. Yes, Jim Parsons just confirmed it. 25, I want to know who the other celebrities are and what was their criteria for picking? Is it just celebrities that they found a photo of and put through like FaceApp and they were like, yeah, yeah, I'll make an article on this. Kira Knightley, what do you think about her? You mean him? Is this some Facebook page where people just post photos of celebrities and be like, this celebrity, what do we think, everybody? And then people are just like, yeah, man, yeah, 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 clearly. And Keira Knightley is somebody I've seen pop up before. It's typically like any woman with a strong jawline or a slightly visible Adam's apple or straight clavicles, these being like straight across, which I thought was just dependent on where your shoulder was, not your gender. Yeah, but they get labeled a man. They are all transgender one year ago today. Happy Women's History Month. And then it's a photo of Leonardo DiCaprio, Johnny Depp and Brad Pitt. I mean, again, the exact reasons they give for calling women celebrities men, such as like jawlines and Adam's apples and things, all of these guys have. At least try, at least put like 5% effort in to try and make it make sense to other people because it's just bananas. Oh, Kira Knightley again. She doesn't even need a bra and I won't show the photos because YouTube might not like it, but it's just a photo of Kira Knightley in a white vest, not wearing a bra, so her nipples are visible. Clear like boobage going on, but again, not that that's, it's just, <sighs> I have a headache and a sore throat. Maybe I'm ill. The clavicle, the clavicle almost looks photoshopped. It's so prominent. But it is shaped like this. Never heard prominency of clavicle. I think mine is quite, mine's very prominent. Yeah. It's just a thing. Some people have prominent clavicles, some people don't. I've never heard of it being a gender thing. It's like the big foreheads. Where did that come from? Cameron Diaz, 21 years old, 40 years old, 51 years old. I met her when she was still male. No lie. Cameron Diaz. And they're even claiming to have met her pre-transition. I mean, I met her when she was still male. That's a slightly nicer way of putting it than other people put it on this type of page, but... <laughs> There's 74 comments on this and 90 reactions. Like people really get into this. Easy to spot for those with eyes to see. Male. See, male, straight across. Female is like this for I don't know why. And then Anne Hathaway has straight across clavicles. I don't think they've heard of a thing called individual differences. <laughs> oh my God, this is a big bit of text. I was so hard on myself throughout my young years. I wanted those big long arms, long feet, the Adam's apple, the strong jawline, because all the female celebs were the most beautiful women in the world. Why was I dumpy curvy, can never trust my waistline, food baby, or monthly explosion? It was all against me. Monthly explosion! I try those long poses and I looked strangled. And how do I get my neck to look like that? All along, they are men. I mean, the connotation of that is, one, we are constantly shown images of photoshopped people, of people with a lot of money who can pour a lot of money into the way they look, like rich, famous people that everybody wants to be and everybody or everybody wants to be with fit this epitome of like beauty and for a long time for women it was people like Angelina Jolie who's the woman photographed down here is the media's fault for pushing this as like this is what women look like this is what you need to aspire to look like but then instead of recognizing that's where the issue lies this person's gone oh because i didn't live up to this meat like this spoon-fed media what i'm told i should look like i'm now going to call those women men and explain it away and like it was never achievable for me in the first place because actually they're men that's a very bizarre jump all along they are men it was a forced idea by media saying look and keep looking and they said it's beautiful not a vote i wasted all of my beautiful youth feeling inadequate that sucks and that is a problem with the media and with society and with like how youth and beauty and appearance is pushed but it doesn't mean that they're men. That's not why it was this unachievable thing that makes other people feel bad about themselves. I'm just telling my kids day one, that's a man dressed up as a woman, that's a brainwash. Would you or did you vote in the magical who is the most beautiful woman in the world? No, no one did. It was just a brainwash. Dang, I want my youth back. An edit to explain. We dubbed 
Trisluce. I'm not sure. It was an Adam's apple because it's a man. Ooh. We copy the poses and look strangled and roll around the bedroom laughing, vow to go in a diet until our necks looked like hers because clearly she's the most beautiful woman in the world. It's a man. We never succeed and we're set to fail but quickly give up on the diet. Short fat girls try to pull off the long arm pose is hilarious. But just because... But, but, but we can't... No, why... I I've I've lost my words because instead of looking at what the real problem is and where those insecurities were garnered and dealing with it in a more like healthy way and a realistic way of what's actually caused this somebody's putting the blame on the women calling them men and being like oh it's all fake any woman who's beautiful must actually be a man why where's that come from that's really confusing to me so wow kendall i'm i'm gonna show it from like the writing on this post because it's kendall jenner wearing a very very skimpy bikini which like you do you not judging but literally on the bottom half barely covering anything and i don't think youtube would like it but somebody's commented going ken doll which granted is mildly clever, but were they commenting that for any other reason than to make that joke? I'm not sure because I don't know what they've based. There's nothing in this image that would indicate to me anything like stereotypically masculine that somebody could pick on, except maybe a strong jawline. Even the clavicles aren't straight. That's a man. That's Jennifer Aniston. Why, why? I want more reasons. <laughs> Other ones I've seen in the past, like, it's a, it's a dissection of exactly why. These posts, it's just like, no, that's a man, that's a woman. Big forehead, so clearly woman. And it's just like, no, what? Famous transgender disclosure transvestigation transhumanism transformers. 13,000 members. 13,000! How many of those people are on it for just the giggles? I would hope a majority. Whoa. Well, that's all of it, thankfully. I really, I think I need to lie down now. That was very interesting. Mm -hmm. I still don't understand at all where any of these people were coming from. In some cases, it seems like they're very much equating gender expression with gender identity. In other cases, it seems like they're just equating success with more likely to be transgender because that's your price for being successful and rich and famous and in other cases it literally just looks like they've gone what celebrity shall we call trans today i've just picked someone at random because there's no reason for it to have happened not even with the illogical logic that they sometimes come through with and it's like explain like the anne hathaway one they gave a reason doesn't make them right in their assumption doesn't make them right to be doing it either but they said something Thing. The bizarre ones are where it's literally just a photo of a celebrity and they're like, yeah, that's a man. What? Where is this coming from? And then the Angelina Jolie post, I, I felt bad for the person writing it. That's sad that they feel a loss for their youth worrying about certain things because of the way the media made them feel about themselves. But that's not a reason to turn around and be like, well, it's because Angelina Jolie and all of the beautiful celebrity women are actually men and that's why they're unattainably beautiful. Okay. Anyway, that's the video. Go think about leaving a comment if you want to or thumbs upping the video or subscribing if you want to, but no pressure to do any of that. And yeah, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye.